don't need flavored milk because it can get kids very obese because it is addictive, so they keep getting more and overloading themselves with sugar. I believe that Emily Moore is correct. She was known as the mother of living foods and cared about what people ate. Parents say chocolate milk makes the children taller. But I disagree. I don't think they grow vertical. I think they grow horizontal. Jamie Oliver, a food lover, has been leading a campaign against chocolate milk in schools. On his website, he says, Sugar is 
isn't the only problem in these flavored drinks, but it's also the calories. In one carton, there's roughly 200 calories, and it, um, it only takes 3,500 additional calories to equal one pound of fat. Doing some more calculations and research, I concluded that it takes, if you were to drink 20 cartons in one week, which some people do, you could be paying an extra pound of fat in that week. And some, uh, some people argue, well, if you don't, if you don't want the flavor drinks, just don't drink it, drink it at SSAS. But for the people that order the food at SSAS, they don't really have a choice. The only uh, milk drinks that were served is sweetened milk, milk, and milk most. If you intake too much sugar, it can lead to many serious health issues, and it can and it can affect your daily life. Life, and as you can see here, it can really hurt. There is an addiction to flavor milk at SSIS. Rewards our brains get from sugar are similar to those of addictive drugs such as cocaine. You may not think this, but the SSIS cafeteria is a great example. Even only with Yomos, kids can drink two to three um, cartons every si every single lunchtime. These facts are provided from the Scientific Journal of Clinical Nutrition. Instead of selling chocolate milk, why not sell 100% healthy fruit juices? It's more healthy and it tastes better. Parents will enjoy it much more and know that kids will grow healthier. It has low sugar and plenty of more, much more needed nutrients. Thank you for participating. We hope exercise has a healthy future and please make the right decision. So there's a there's the two sides for or against, and you you have a group of population that sees you know at, at benefits to both. Does the group or has the group ever had the conversation around uh, either only having it or not having it, or having it with conditions to it? Do you know what he means by conditions to it? themselves enough that with, with your argument about the, the addictive qualities of sugar? I think so. I know a couple of students that I in, in your survey, are you saying like at our cafeteria, there's nobody can even drink white milk without sugar? There's no, un, there's no just real regular milk? Yes. Um, this Take out the flavor of milk, they just have to know that um, it's for the best that we get. Um, 
um, they, they don't care for it as much, but you're still getting the nutrition and uh, the weight loss. Julian and I had this conversation before. We were thinking, how do you feel about milk itself, just as a base? If you add chocolate or strawberry flavor or peach, whatever, how do you guys feel about milk, whether it's sweet or not? Just because we had that conversation, I'm curious about how you feel. Any of you on, on both sides, actually. Anybody in our class should milk be served in our class? Lisa and Julian.